be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. I think I said that right, subscribe. Yeah, anyway, you know what to do. Hit that red button. Go ahead and get subscribed to the channel, man. Anyway, let's jump into today's video. Basically, I'm gonna be going ahead and making a guitar type beat in Logic Pro 10. This is gonna be a beat that, you know, an artist like Future or an artist like Drake to, could jump on. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, first things first, I got these guitar samples that I'm gonna be uh, flipping here by Ryanie Beats. And I'm gonna check them out, man, and see if I could take, or not if, see what I could do with one of these samples. And hopefully you can learn some things, man. Leave it in the comment section below what you want me to bring to the channel. Um, I'll do my best to start bringing it to you and everything like that. So let's just check out some of these samples. So we'll do something like this. We're gonna take this one. So I have a quick, uh, quick sample of the track I already created. But for the no, new guys, um, people, anybody who's new to the channel, you basically go ahead and create a new track. And under software instrument, um, under instrument, excuse me, go ahead and go over here to quick sampler, create a new track. But I already have it here. Pretty much, I already have all of the sounds that I need for the beat. Um, so we'll go to this quick sampler. I'm just gonna basically drag and drop that sample back in here. Throw it in there. And now I got my sample. So now that I got my sample, the next thing I'm gonna do, hold down option, I'm just gonna scroll in here and then just see like, is there anything that we wanna change up? Do we wanna start maybe in the middle of the sample instead of right at the beginning? Let's check it out. Cool. So what we'll do is let's we'll just go ahead and use that part of the sample. Um, we already have follow tempo on and everything like that. We had this going forward. So now what I'll do is I'm going to pull up command K, uh, which is our musical typing, just so you can see. I'm using a MIDI keyboard so you can kind of see the notes and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and lay this down. Hopefully the sample will be synced. So we got that sample in here. Now I can just click over here in the uh, grid, turn these off, in the piano row, and highlight it. And we can just go ahead and do a one over eight swing A. And also you can just right click on this, do force legato, it's gonna take it to the end. Now it should be a little smoother. Let's check it out. <laughs> So the next thing I like to do is go ahead and double this up. So we'll do Command D and I'm going to drag this down by holding Option. And pretty much we want to take this up an octave. So what I'm going to do is put Shift Option and Up. What I'm gonna do to this sample is come in here, we'll actually go to the mixing window, and I'm gonna just throw an EQ on here and I'm gonna roll off a lot of the highs on that, especially this high pitch sample. So 
cleaned it up a little bit, took out some of the lows, took out some of the highs. We'll do it on this other sample as well. I'm actually just going to hold down option and drag this EQ over here. So now that's going to make it a whole lot easier when we come in to make the beat. It's going to already kind of have everything tucked away frequency wise so that all these other instruments can shine. So what I'm going to do now, we'll start actually working on the drums. First off, we'll start off with a basic clap. So um, a quick way to do that, click on the scissors, step sequencer. And y'all, just to keep everything in mind here, I already came in here and loaded some sounds. I'm using the quick sampler on each of these tracks and I'm just drugging, uh, drops and sounds into each one. So I have a clap here, snare, it's all the quick sampler, okay? Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get that clap on here. I'm just gonna click right there. Hold down the option, drag this over. And then what we could do is right click on this and turn this uh, into a MIDI region. And Command J, and now we have a clap pattern ready to go. Simultaneously, we can also come over here and get a basic hi-hat pattern too. And you can start off just by doing a basic pattern like that and then take this these steps and go up some. So we can add some uh, variation by clicking between these two. Okay, cool. So like... I can now push Command R and that just doubles it over here. And I can also add some more variation onto this one. So let's check out how this whole loop sounds now. All right, cool. So I like kind of going ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me. I like the process of going ahead and take this to MIDI because I can always come in here and do little cool things uh, later on. Like for instance, I can scroll in, hold down option, scroll in here, and I can come over here to the velocity settings and do that on some of those rolls or those little stutters. And And this little stuff like this does make a difference. Y'all will hear. Let's check it out. You can also come over here, highlight everything, and um, under functions over here, you can go to MIDI transform, humanize this a little bit. And what it will do is just nudge these notes just off just a little bit. And it also came over here and gave a little variation in the uh, velocity. I do want this first note though to be right on point. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that. Sometimes you have to make adjustments to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Sometimes you got to make adjustments to it. Um, and that's cool. Just go ahead and make the adjustments. Some of these are like kind of going too low and all that. But... Bad. So we got the hi hats. You know, they kind of dip in and out. It's going to give a little bit of a more of a swing feel to the beat once it all comes in. I like using the step sequencer initially and then, you know, coming in with the piano roll to clean up. So we're going to go ahead and lay down a snare pattern, too. So we do that. And then I like to come over here, go to like 32. Just 
Chris Command R, convert this to MIDI region. Take out some of these. But so now what I'm gonna do is keep this uh, snare pattern pretty simple. And I'm actually gonna play this with my MIDI keyboard. And as y'all can see, like with my production process, I kind of like actually using a whole lot of different things. So I'll use the MIDI keyboards, the set sequencer, and the piano roll all in one beat. And I do that often. So like, you know, something to keep in mind. So now let's go ahead and quantize that. Now let's work on the 808. <clears throat> Some of times it's good that you just play it in. So we'll do something like that. Actually, as y'all heard, I messed up some of the notes I didn't play right. But what I would recommend doing is sometimes even if you mess up, keep on playing the pattern and you can always just move the notes around. So we'll just take this because I played the pattern right for the most part. And I'll just do this and I can come on some of these notes and fix this. If you uh, hold down option while you're in the piano roll and then push the down arrow, you can move notes up and down. extra step in here command T and what you can do too is come up here to this uh your loop and just put it on each section of the beat till you get it right.
as y'all can see, you just got to keep playing around with it until you get it sometimes. You know, it, it doesn't always in music production just snap first first take, you get it. You know, sometimes it does, but, you know, sometimes you got to mess around with it. Just depends. Alright, cool. So now that we got that, another thing you can do is kind of a little trick. Once you got the you know stuff in the actual um, quick sampler, come over here to this glide, push that up some. It will help make it a little smoother with your uh, pattern. You can play around with these two. This is a filter. come over here with some you know little background noise you can sound it out you know what I mean you find that first note you know boom boom so boom that's the note and then you can come on the piano and just go up to go up the scale until you find it so it's that uh, G sharp I could do with this piano is actually use it more so as like a bass line. decided to not get too crazy with the piano because sometimes if you got certain other fancy stuff going on you don't want to you want to kind of keep the fancy stuff to a minimum so like have one thing that's doing going super crazy and everything else is kind of complimenting it like this 808 I don't want to jump this bass line on this piano around you know saying that you know anyway got to make it make sense let's add like a little string Uh, more
Yeah, let me go ahead and add these strings though. I was gonna kind of do something more fancy, but I'm, again, I think I'm gonna uh, keep this simple. So really, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, it's not that many tracks here that we uh, had to use to create this beat. Um, I kept it simple um, when it came to a lot of different things here. Um, you know, we got a kick, snare, clap, hi-hat, 808. No, we're going to keep that 808 at the top. And um, actually just four uh, actual instrument sounds here. So which, uh, two of those instrument sounds are actual uh, samples. So, man, leave it in the comment section below what y'all think of this beat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post it on my Stars page. Go ahead and upload it to YouTube. Shout out uh, Ryani Beats, man. I'll be cooking up a whole lot more beats to his uh, samples, man. So, uh, make sure you go to our site as well, beatmakingbasics.com. Yo, this site, you're going to have the best opportunity to learn how to make beats and learn Logic Pro 10. We got a lot of great uh, bonuses and goodies that you can get packages and different things like that first of all we got courses so if you like the videos you like my teacher style you like how i talk and stuff like that share it with you you know you might want to grab one of these courses because it has a whole curriculum of information that you can download and then have on your computer you know with or without a uh, internet connection you can get you know get this access um then we have kits we also have uh templates that we've been dropping as well and you can get a whole bundle deal um, the bundle deal is pretty dope because you get everything on the site and then anything else that I drop throughout the whole year, you're also going to get that as well. So check all that stuff out, beatmakingbases.com. Get subscribed. I don't know why I'm stuttering over that. Subscribe. It's subscribe. Subscribe, not subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, my God. Anyway, y'all, get subscribed to the channel and uh, hit that like button, man. Appreciate y'all, and I will see you in the next video.